Former state representative Jack Williams is running for a Jefferson County Commission seat at the same time he's facing public corruption charges. Both Williams and his opponent, Steve Ammons, believe the indictment will influence voters tomorrow. CBS 42 News reporter James McConaughey is covering this for us. I'm so limited in what I can say, but I'll get to speak to my innocence in September in, in trial and uh, have no doubts I'll be exonerated. Jack Williams was indicted along with two others in a public corruption scheme and arrested on those charges in April. He said the indictment took him by surprise. I had no idea it was coming. You just have to process it. It's like, okay, this is really happening. Uh, I'll clear my name. Williams is facing just one other opponent for the Jefferson County Commission District 5 seat in the primary election, Steve Ammons. No Democrats are running. Williams says he hopes the charges against him don't overshadow his record as a public servant. Certainly. I, I mean, I'm concerned every election about any possible misconception about me. It's going gonna, it's gonna to play into voters' decisions uh, no matter what. I mean, um, uh, it's unfortunate um, uh, what's happened uh, with Jack. Steve Ammons said he believes he's the better candidate, regardless of the charges against Williams. Both candidates have said they want voters to focus on the issues and choose the candidate who's best suited for the job. I am uh, uh, just as well qualified, and I would say more qualified than Jack, um, because I'm accustomed to being one of five instead of one of 105. Um, I know how to operate uh, at a municipal level. I think I've got a hi history in the legislature of fighting for things that are important to this community. I fought for the economic well-being of Jefferson County and helped pass legislation that's, that, that uh, put Jefferson County on solid financial ground. That was James McConaughey reporting. The trial against Jack Williams begins in September. It's in federal court. Whoever wins this election won't take office until November.